hello viewers hope you are well this is mathematics in this video let's look at this question coming from 2018 GCE paper one and it was question number three the question reads a straight line passing through a so we have a point here point a three comma two and b five comma y has gradient negative 2. Find the value of y. So the question is coming from a topic called coordinate geometry. Okay? Now, where are you going to start from? Understand the question first. We are told that this straight line passing through, we have two points. Okay? Now, imagine, let's put it this way, that this is the line, this is the straight line, and we've got two points. Let's say this is point A. We also have another point here, B. Okay, straight line. Passing through these two points. So this point, let's say this is 3, 2. And the other point here is 5, y. We don't know the value of y. Alright? Now, um, we are told that the gradient of this line, the gradient of this line is negative 2 so gradient is abbreviated by the letter m is equal to negative 2 now they are saying we have to find the value of y what y coordinate will be here are you seeing that so what will be the value of y where are you going to start from here well since they've mentioned the gradient and you've been given two points then we are going to apply the formula of the gradient of the line given two points. This is the formula. So we say m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That is the formula for the gradient of the line given two points. Now let's identify the y1, y2, x2. So from the points that we've been given here, the first number here is your x1, then this one becomes your y1. That's the way we label them. On the other side here, we have the first number, which will be x2. This one will be y2. Then we are now going to substitute here. We are now going to substitute. What is our m? Gradient is negative 2. So where there is m, put negative 2 is equal to y2 from this which one is y2? It is y. So y2 here is y minus y1. y1 is 2. So put 2 here over x2. x2 is 5. So 5 here minus x1. x1 is 3. So that is the way you are going to substitute. At this point now we are going to say negative 2 is equal to here you cannot subtract. So it will be y minus 2 over, what is 5 take away 3? This will give us a 2. We have a fraction here, so we are going to make a fraction also on the other side, over 1. Then, what next? You will be able to cross multiply. So, when you cross multiply this, it will now be 1 minus y, 1 times y minus 2. This will give us y minus 2 is equal to negative 2 times 2 this will give us negative 4 so now we have y is equal to the negative 2 has to cross the equal sign so y is equal to negative 4 negative 2 will be positive 2 and y will be equal to negative 4 plus 2 this will be negative 2 different signs subtract 4 take away 2 is 2. Get the sign from the bigger number 4, which is negative. So this is the value of y. And that is exactly the same way you should be able to find the answer to such kind of questions. Thank you for watching. Remember to share the video so that others can also benefit. Like, follow me on Facebook, TikTok, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.